Malaria is a disease caused by a parasite transmitted by the bite of infected mosquitoes. Mosquito transmission cycle is as follows. First of all, a mosquito becomes infected by feeding on a person who has malaria. Then the transmission of the parasite takes place. If you're the next person this mosquito bites, it can transmit malaria parasites to you. The parasites then travel to your liver, where some types can lie dormant for as long as a year. When the parasites mature, they leave the liver and infect your red blood cells. This is when people typically develop malaria symptoms. If an uninfected mosquito bites you at this point in the cycle, it will become infected with your malaria parasites and can spread them to the next person it bites. Malaria is a global health problem. In 2016 alone, there was an estimated 216 million new cases of malaria, 445,000 deaths and nearly 1 billion people living in areas with a high risk of the disease. Artemisinin and endoperoxide sesquitopene lactone is an effective anti-malarial compound that is synthesized in the glandular trichomes of the Chinese medicinal plant Artemisia annua. And currently, artemisinin-based combination therapies, also known as ACTs, are the most effective treatment option for malaria. Successful malaria control depends greatly on treatment with efficacious malaria treatment drugs. Malaria endemic countries have a national malaria treatment policy that specifies drugs for treatment of both uncomplicated and severe malaria, malaria in pregnancy and what to do if first-line treatment fails. Currently, artemisinin-based combination therapy ACT is recommended for the treatment of P. falciparum malaria. Fast-acting artemisinin-based compounds are combined with a drug from a different class. A co-formulated drug is one in which two different drugs are combined in one tablet. This is important to ensure both drugs are used. Companion drugs include lumefantrine, mefloquine, amodiaquine, sulfadoxine or pyrimethamine, piperaquine and chlorproguanol or dapsone. Artemisinin derivatives include dihydroartemisinin, artesanate and artemether. The benefits of ACTs are their high efficacy, fast action and the reduced likelihood of resistance developing. In order to make best use of them, particularly since no alternative is likely for several years, it is critical to address issues of delivery, access and cost. However, the catch here is that artemisinin-based combination therapies or ACTs is reliant on the agricultural production of artemisinin. And this plant-based production sometimes cannot meet the global demand due to low amount of artemisinin produced in A annual leaves, that is about 0.1 to 1% of dry weight. Chinese scientists have now therefore managed to design a high-quality draft genome sequence of A. annua and their use of this information along with gene expression data to metabolically engineer plant lines that produce high levels of artemisinin. The A. annua genome contains 63,226 protein coding genes, one of the largest numbers among any known plant species. Therefore, previous efforts to increase the yield of artemisinin had been hampered by the absence of a reference genome and the limited information about the genes involved in regulating the drug synthesis. But by simultaneously increasing the activity of the three genes HMGR, FPS and DBR2, the researchers generated A annual lines that produced high artemisinin levels, that is about 3.2% of the dry weight of the leaves. Leveraging these findings, Tang and his team have sent artemisinin reed seed samples to Madagascar, the African country that grows the most A annua for a field trial. They are also continuing to explore ways to enhance artemisinin production with the goal of developing A annua lines whose leaves contain about 5% of artemisinin. We hope our research can enhance the global supply of artemisinin and lower the price from the plant source, Tang says. It is not expensive to generate high-level artemisinin lines. We have propagated hundreds of high artemisinin producer lines, we are cutting and selection and scaled up the production of these plants. Hopefully our high artemisinin transgenic lines will be grown at a massive scale next year.